outgoing Archbishop of Mbara Diocese, Paul Wachenga, has thanked the people of the diocese for the kindness shown towards him during his time as Archbishop. Speaking at the installation of the new Archbishop, Lambert Vinomjisha, Bachenga called on the people of the diocese and Ankole at large to work towards the unity of the country. Incoming Archbishop Vinomjisha called for continued unity of all the people of the diocese and said he will continue with the work his predecessor was doing. The Lord has been so good. God's people have been so good to me. The president has been good. I have no clashes with the government. I have no clashes with my brother bishop of the church of Uganda. I have no clash with any leader of any party. They are all being my friends. I diocese here in Paraná is a special archdiocese. Many leaders of this country come from this archdiocese. Bishop Sheldon, Sheikh. Many people come from this diocese. If my young know how to cooperate, they can share it with the other people outside and build the Uganda, which is better. The religious men from various and women from various institutes of consecrated life. The left faithful from all walks of life. Men and women, the youth and even children to work together with us in unity as members of one body of Christ so that we can advance the preaching of the good news for the growth of the church and the greater glory of God. In a speech read for him by local government minister Rafael Majezi, President Yorim Seveni thanked Bachenga for the work he has done in keeping the church united through his acts. The president said his work went beyond just the church and helped the whole country. Minister of East African Affairs, Kahindo Tafire, urged church shepherds to keep the church and the people united. His Excellency the President thanks you for your enormous services and dedication to the church and to the country. Thank you so much for your good job well done. With your work, the church has remained united and has grown in strength under your care. And we've witnessed excellent relationship with the government and your contribution to Uganda, not just in terms of spirituality, but in areas of peace and conflict resolution, providing quality education services to our people, providing health care services, moral counseling to families and individuals, especially the youth, as well as fighting poverty. We thank you so much and we remain indebted to you. We are all shepherds. You are our shepherds spiritual. We are shepherds temporal. So we should treat the people of God as equal, the same, and invisible. And my Lord, you are our shepherd. That's why we as members of parliament have come together in unison. The Muslim, the Protestants, we have acted together as members of parliament. We have not chosen one denomination and left out all the other. We have acted together as one people. Please, our shepherds, keep us one people.